Hey, this is Kyle with Level 10 Interactive in Dallas. And the last video we talked about how to integrate um, Adobe Cooler into our uh, customizable bootstrap themes uh, using the color module and the less modules. Um, and today I'm going to talk about a cooler thing we did, then cooler, but I'm just, um, called Color Lovers. Uh, so, like I said, Adobe Cooler uh, came out a couple years ago, and they had an API, but then um, they stopped supporting the API as far as we're concerned. It, it doesn't work, and we can't get keys for it, so we're no longer interested. Um, well, uh, one of our developers, Ian, he um, had discovered Color Lovers. Um, Color Lovers is a website where you can do exactly what it says, share color ideas and inspiration. Well, the cool thing for us is that they also have an API. Um, which is phenomenal. So if you go to www.colorlovers.com slash API, you can now see the documentation um, on how to retrieve colors and palettes and patterns and people and stats and things like that, um, which is really, really awesome. So what we did was um, Ian made a module. Guess what it's called? It is called Color Lovers. So um, it's a dev module right now, but um, we just started using this, and uh, he basically wrote the integration for the API. Um, and in the integration, if you this is the less file. Um, let's me open it. Um, so basically, uh, you can implement this yourself in any in any modules or themes you might have. So um, you can call get colors or get palettes or get patterns, whatever it may be. Um, but we went ahead and made an uh, administrative interface um, for this. Um, basically, it's like an API playground for using the color lever module. Um, so what I did is that if you look at this, go to um, appearance color lovers uh, you can then play with these choices um, so if you look at colors and you want to return the top colors um, and you want to return the top 15 results of colors that have cookie or orange in it um, you can do that and you can also look at some example parameters down here so if we save this um, it will show you what the API call was, so you can actually copy and paste this, and it will show you exactly what it's going to look like. Um, this is all the data that was returned, and now you can see all of the colors that are cookie and or orange have keywords, um, and if you want to learn more about it, just click on it, and it will take you to that page. Great. Now, what does this mean for us? So we talked about finding predetermined uh, color palettes to use in our themes. Um, the problem with Cooler is that these are defined by other people, and you can change them using the color form, but it's not, it's not easy to do, um, and it's not always you know, using your best judgment if you're not a designer. So what we did was we had our designer uh, make some palettes. Um, and so if you wanted to, you could have a designer make a palette. Um, so all you do is sign up for your own account. So I'm going to use my account that I made. Um, and if you go to my profile, you will see that I have five palettes. Citrus Grove, Honey Pot, Settles Accent, Garden Swimming Pool, Seawolf. Um, there's even a color there. And what we're going to do is in the color lovers theme. So I'm going to go to palettes. I'm going to go to default. I'm going to put in my username. Um, I'm going to leave everything else the same because uh, I am not looking for a certain hex value. I don't need keywords. Um, I'm not going to sort by anything. Um, I just want to pull the, the palettes back that I have made on my profile. So we save this and kapow! we have all of my palettes here. If you click on one, uh, like I said, it'll take you over to the palette um, with all the colors. Great, it's awesome. Now, what? We 
did some magic so I'm going to disable the cooler and enable the color modules this is from existing so what we're going to do is we have to save it resave the form first and then it'll reload um, with our our new colors scroll down and kapow here's the options that we have now the great thing about using the color modules is that um, if it doesn't find the existing schema it's going to keep these colors the same um, whatever you had prior so you won't lose it until you change um, the scheme again but if I drop down now I have the colors from um, my profile <laughs> uh, and we're going to pick one so um, knowing what I know I know that uh, the third color is an accent that goes with brand primary and then secondary is used as first. So I think Garden Swimming Pool might good, be a good one. So I'm going to use Garden Swimming Pool. It updates my colors. I'm going to save this. Great. It's in there. I'm going to go to the home page and let this refresh. Had some black colors in here apparently. And pow, we have some green colors going on. Um, it actually doesn't look that bad. Looks pretty good, I think. So now you can do the very same thing, right? So you can uh, create an account, um, get your username. Uh, so your username is, you know, that right there. Um, paste it in, or if you just want to just do some searching around. Um, you can do it yourself. Uh, so for instance, just to play with the API a little bit, let's remove this. Let's look for, um, I don't know, green. Let's level 10 color. So we're green and blue and lime. Um, I don't want to match all of them. Actually, yeah, I do. I do want to match them. So I'll, I want to see if we have a color palette that has green and blue and lime in it. Um, I'm going to rate them by their score, so we're going to get the better ones. We're going to do descending, so we want the highest score. Um, we'll just return 20 of them and save it. And, wow, so you can see the API here, API call, once again. Um, dragon's Tail Tail, ooh, that looks fun. Um, or Chick Mellow, okay. Let's refresh. Great. Have some new ones. So let's go for the chick one. Chick mellow. Save it. Refresh. Actually, let's see what it looks like in incognito. Dun dun dun. And it's a little bit of a dark green. That looks pretty good, actually. I like it. Looking good. All right. So, um, so that's how you can integrate. Uh, well, actually, let me take that back. How we did it. Magic. Um, <laughs> inside the module, uh, it already sets a variable um, specifically for this, so you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is implement it in your theme. Um, in the admin, it sets a something somewhere, um, a color lovers theme palette, right, right there. So, in your theme, the color .ink, um, we had skipped over this earlier, but we're now looking at this section right here. So we get our palette. And we get our check. We added some fields um, in our theme theme setting. So basically, we have a field set with the checkbox and a container for the markup, just for the demo content. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab our colors, and we kind of have to force feed this a little bit. Um, the reason why is because you don't know if the palette is always going to have five colors, um, and so we're making the assumption that 
but we're, we need at least five colors. We don't always need them, but we need to account for five colors um, or else the less compiler will start complaining. Uh, so we're just going to go through the list. Um, if we have it, great, set the color. If not, just make a white. So if, if we don't have an accent 2 or an accent 3, just, just make those white. Um, and then we'll reset it. Um, and then just do some magic down here. And then basically, like before, take the info schemes and replace it with the palette that we provided. Um, and that's it. Save it. It'll pass those to less um, and recompile your theme. And that's it. So that is how you can use the Color Lovers module um, to integrate your theme to create some custom themes. And that's it. Thanks for your time.